Great, you've made it to video 46. In this video, we're gonna take a look at subtrees in graphs based on that graph's minimum degree. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the fact that all trees are subgraphs. Now, this is actually much more straightforward than it may seem at the beginning, because in fact, if you have a tree, any tree of order k, it's definitely a subgraph of the complete graph of order k. Notice that the complete graph of order k has every vertex of degree k minus one. What we're going to show in this video is an even more general result. The theorem says, let t be a tree of order k and g a graph with minimum degree at least k minus one. Then the graph G contains a subgraph isomorphic to the tree T. Let's take a look at a couple of small examples. Here I have a tree of order four, and the theorem tells us that any graph with minimum degree at least three has a subgraph isomorphic to T. This is not hard to believe because in any graph with degree at least three, you'll find a vertex which has three neighbors, and that's what T is. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have a tree of order five and the theorem tells us that any graph with minimum degree at least four will have a subgraph isomorphic to this tree. And it doesn't matter that I drew this tree in this particular way, it could have been any tree of order five. Notice that the condition of having minimum degree at least k minus one is definitely needed. Obviously the degree requirement that the minimum degree is at least k minus one cannot be reduced any lower. If you had minimum degree at least k minus two, then it would no longer hold. Here, for example, when we had a tree of order four and we take a look at a graph with minimum degree at least two, that would not be good enough. If we had a graph with minimum degree at least two, we could certainly find an example that satisfied minimum degree at least two, but did not have this tree of order four, which had a degree three vertex. The proof is done by induction on K. So for the basis, let's take a look at K equal to one. And the only tree of order one is K one, which is a single vertex with no edges. This is a subgraph of any graph. We can continue and look at k equals two. The only tree of order two is the complete graph on two vertices, and this is a subgraph of any non-empty graph, i.e. any graph with minimum degree at least one. Remember that k two is just two vertices joined by an edge. As the inductive hypothesis, we will assume that for each tree t prime of order k minus one, where k is bigger than or equal to three, and every graph h, which has minimum degree at least k minus two, that H contains a subgraph isomorphic to T prime. In other words, the inductive hypothesis assumes that the result is true for K minus one. Our goal is to show now that it will be true for K. So now let T be a tree of order K and G a graph which has minimum degree at least K minus one. We're going to want to show that our graph G contains a subgraph isomorphic to our tree T. Let's let V be a leaf of the tree T. We know that there is at least one leaf. In fact, we know that there's always at least two leaves. So the degree in the tree T of vertex V is one. Now let U be the vertex in the tree T such that U and V are adjacent. Then T minus V is a tree of order K minus one. And remember that G has minimum degree bigger than or equal to K minus one, which is bigger than K minus two. So we can use the inductive hypothesis for the tree T minus V and the graph G to be our graph H. The inductive hypothesis tells us that G contains a subgraph F isomorphic to T minus V. If we take a look at what we have pictorially, here we have our graph G in this blue blob, and then there is a subgraph F inside of G, which is isomorphic to T minus V. So there's an isomorphism that goes between the two. Now let U prime be the vertex in F, which corresponds to the vertex U in T minus V. Remember that the vertex U was this special vertex which was adjacent to our leaf V. Since T minus V has order K minus one, so does F. Therefore in F, there are only K minus two other vertices other than U prime. This means that the degree in F of U prime is at most K minus two. And therefore there exists a vertex W in the graph G, which is not part of the graph F, such that 
u prime w is an edge of the graph g, and that's because the minimum degree in the graph g is at least k minus 1, so vertex u prime needs to have at least degree k minus 1. What this means now is that the subgraph f union with the vertex w is going to be isomorphic to our tree t. If we take a look at our graph f and we tack on the vertex w that we know u prime is adjacent to, this is like how in graph t, the tree t, we had vertex u adjacent to vertex v. And now we've shown that this tree t is indeed isomorphic to a subgraph in the graph g. And this completes our proof. If you think for a moment about what it is that we've actually proved, it's kind of important to think about. We know that now, if you have any tree of order k, it is a subgraph of lots of different graphs. Any graph which has minimum degree at least k minus 1 will have this tree as a subgraph. What this means in general in graph theory is that understanding properties of trees is very important to understanding the properties of graphs in general because trees happen to be subgraphs of many, many, many graphs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.